guys, Mr. Light is here with the update to the games I bought series I do for, I believe it's May. Do you know what? I've had so much issues lately. I literally am having trouble. Yeah, it is May. Okay, it is May. Jeez. Sorry, I'm having so much problems at work at the moment. Well, not. Okay. I'm going to say this. It's not difficulty at work. I've just had to put more hours in at the moment. So, this is the Games I Bought video for May of 2021. Now, I've got to admit this month has been a bit difficult at times. Work has been hectic and at the moment it's a bit more heavy because I've got, I had to increase my work hours to help out more. And there's been a lot going on at home and at work, all that. So the good news is I had some games here I finished, quite a few here I bought. So I got quite a few to talk about. So we're going to start with the games I finished. Now one thing I'm going to say, I have finished a digital game. More than that, I 100%ed the trophy list. It didn't have a platinum trophy, sadly. But I got every trophy in the game. That game on the PS4 is basically the port of Ape Escape 2. I love Ape Escape. I'm very fond of the series. Ape Escape 2 was fantastic. I flipping loved it. So much in fact I actually got the 100% trophy list like I said. And I actually ended up playing a spike again for the whole game in a single day. Yeah, that was a day that I had to go through. But I got that tro all the trophies. Very happy I did that. My first 100% trophy list without a platinum. That was fantastic. Now let's go to the games I finished. Firstly, I finished, you probably saw a video of this, for God of Thunder on the PS3. Okay, I'm going to be honest, this was not brilliant. You can tell this is pretty repetitive. Very dull at times, I got to admit, and I did have glitches throughout the game, including in the final battle, somehow. By finishing it, I don't know yet if I'm going to platinum it, because I don't really feel like playing it through again, but I'll think about it. Now, let's play I Have Finished The Hobbits. This was a really fun game. Not... This game was irritating as heck. I flipping got annoyed at this game at my half the time. As you probably know, it's a lot of the videos for a while ended up me getting very frustrated with this game. Finally, though, the Let's Play is finished, and I kid you not, I am not touching this game again. Because this game was so flip. I'm keeping it because this was my Mangi's favourite PS2 game. But I'm not playing it again for the life of me. But on the good side, I have finished Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. Yep. This was the last Broken Sword game I had to finish. Now, guaranteed, it was a Kickstarter game. It wasn't that, it was from, Rebe from Revolution, but it was, um, it was a, a Kickstarter, so that was an interesting idea. But I gotta say, even though it was a Kickstarter, it still got all the amusement I had from the old game. I still think it's a fantastic way of doing a fantastic game. Very strange game half the time. There's a lot of weirdness to it with... At the beginning, you think you know where the story's going. Then it suddenly jumps to a totally different perspective. From what you thought it was. But I liked it anyway. Very happy with this game. I might do a let's play of this in the future. But I gotta get through Broken Sword the Sleeping Dragon first. That's gonna take a while. Right, so now to talk about the games I bought. There's quite a few of them. I'm gonna start with this. PS2 game. You know I said I loved Ape Escape. Yeah, Ape Escape 3. <laughs> I told you I loved Ape Escape. Yeah, I got this. Now... I have never played this game before. I've started it. I've done quite a bit of it. 
it's still, I love it, I gotta be honest, I love Ape Escape. And I, I am planning to buy the original on PS1 eventually, but I haven't got around to looking for that yet. But heck, I got Ape Escape 3. Might do a boss rush at least of it, have to think about that. Right, next, a GameCube game that I got at a charity shop, my charity shop, for 80 pence. Spyro A Hero's Tale. Yeah, decent game, got to admit. Got to do a bit of uh, things on it. It's going to take a while to get through, but I've got 80 pence for this. Heck, can't go wrong. It's a good game. Um, I got a Wii U game that cost me £8 and I can't even play it. Lego Dimensions. I did not realise it was a uh, flipping pa um, figurine game. I didn't know this when I bought it. I was stupid like that. So I have it, but I can't play it. And I've got Disney Infinity that I play. I don't want another one. So I just got that for my Wii U library. Switch game! New Pokemon Snap! Yep, got it. Took me a while to find, but got it. Pretty well done. I love the game. I'm going to be playing it some more over time. And very happy I got this, because it is actually a game I particularly wanted. Very happy with that. And uh, let's go to the PS4 games next. First off, Leisure Suit Larry, Wet Dreams Dry, dry Twice. Now... Let me tell you something about this. This is really odd. I don't know what's happening here. So I started the game up, and I ended up getting to the point where I got my first trophy. I was very happy. Then I went on to the PlayStation um, trophy list to get the trophy list to pop up, and it didn't. I don't know why this game's trophy list is not appearing. If anyone can tell me what's going on, I'd be really happy to know... Because I can't get the trophy list to appear. And online, on all the different places I've been to, I can't find the trophy list. Which means it seems to not be appearing for anyone. So if anyone can tell me, if they know what the deal is here, please tell me. Because I don't know what's going on with this game. Other than that, it is a good game. It's Leisure Suit Larry. I like Leisure Suit Larry. And it's a good sequel. No Man's Sky. Yes, I got this for £10 from Cash Gen. Wanted to buy it to see how good it's become over the years. I gotta say, I do enjoy it. Yes, it's very repetitive. But I'm normally okay to some extent, depending on what the game's like. And I do actually enjoy it. Yeah, yeah it is. It's not brilliant, I got to admit. But I play it every so often, just for a bit of exploration. And the other PS4 game I got. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Got this for a fiver. I like Dragon's Dogma, even if it's actually a really hard series. But I got this on the PS4 because it's got an easy mode, which I think will be better for me personally. Because I really don't like doing difficult games, especially when I've come home from work. So I'm really happy I got this. I'm going to play it some more eventually. I've just got other projects I'm working on. Now, this last one is a bit interesting. This is a Wii game. But I got it not specifically for this game. Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. Now, you might be wondering what I mean. In the game, you've got these things called glory moves, which are special moves you perform on enemies. After you perform one move, you unlock, I kid you not, the full version that you can play of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. That's why I got this, because I played Fate of Atlantis when I was younger. Can't remember how many years ago. It was years ago, though. And it's been so long, I remember the uh, bits and pieces of it. I've unlocked it in the game, I've started it, and oh my flip, it's just as I can just about remember it. I love Fate of Atlantis, and honestly, if I finish it, I might have to think about doing a Let's Play, but it depends if I can set things up correctly. I don't know yet. As 
for this. I think they had a bit too much motion in it. I played it for a while and I just thought, my arms are killing me after that. Because this, this is a really motionful game. There's so many motions for practically everything. Including to light fire on a stick. I'm going to play this game some more, but honestly, I got it for Fate of Atlantis, so that's what I'm focusing on. So yeah. Uh, so Arthur Kings, not brilliant. Fate of Atlantis, good memories. So that's all for this month of the games I bought and the games I finished. Like I said, work is a bit hectic right now. I'm going up and down with work because I got so much work, I get stuff I got to do down there. And they need my help a bit more because one of my um, staff, one of the staff members has gone on holidays. So they need a bit of extra help. So I'm helping out the best I can. I'm going to do some more work here with other games as well. But at the moment, I'm just very tired. And I just want to enjoy myself. But I thought, you know what? I got plenty of things to talk about with this. Let's do the video. And here we go. I've talked about it. And I hope you guys will stick with me for the for other videos to come. I might work on another Let's Play or something throughout the time, but I'm going to see how it goes. Depends what happens. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.